The built cultural heritage is at risk due to a series of factors, namely natural decay, human actions, natural hazard and climate change. Europe has been the world leader in the field of conservation of cultural heritage buildings from the very first approaches through the Renaissance and the Industrial Revolution until today. The International Master in Structural Analysis of Monuments and Historical Constructions, SAHC, is a one-year teaching program aiming to provide advanced training in conservation and rehabilitation of built cultural heritage structures. This is a one-of-a-kind training program in the world when compared to the other general graduate courses in heritage conservation. This challenge, which is one, to change the way we act, two, to try to make something which is intrinsic to life, the duration, to live forever. We want to make a building live forever. And this is very demanding from the technical and the scientific point of view. And this is what our master is about. You get, as a starter, fundamental knowledge. So you will have some typical coursework, which is from historic perspective, from advanced analysis, advanced tests. But then you go, to what we call application, and you have one case study that you have to start from the beginning to the end. So the program is based on experimental, on advanced tools, on going to the lab, on going to the field, on, in the end, having a design project. So you take what we have most important in science, but then you need to apply it in engineering, in profession, in architecture, to solve a real problem. If you want to go deeper in science, you can do it in your dissertation, in your thesis, but you have to finish the project as a professional. Now, what we try to do in SAC, in this project, is to have top professionals, people that I would hire as an engineer, I was hired as an architect, or I was hired as a research manager. So we want to develop their analytical skills we want to be sure they are handle confrontation, that they are able to do strong argumentation. They have excellent public presentation skills. They are confronted to discussion. This master has been funded by the European Commission in the last 10 years. It is coordinated by University of Minho in Portugal, having as partners the Czech Technical University in Prague, UPC Barcelona Tech in Spain, University of Padua in Italy, and also the Institute of Theoretical and Applied Mechanics of the Czech Academy of Science as an associated partner. In the last five years, this master program has had each year around 400 applications for an average of 35 students from all parts of the world. Besides Europe, in the top 10 countries of SAHC students, it is possible to find USA, Iran, China, Colombia, Canada and Mexico. The average student age is around 27 years, with a mix of fresh bachelor students and experienced professionals. Because I was working on rural constructions, so there was an opportunity to go to the countryside and the professor, my supervisor, was really nice about it. He gave me the chance to go to different uh, constructions and actually see how things work. And apart from that, small things, um, like working in the sack room till almost one or two in the morning and then uh, going back uh, to one house where everybody would gather together and we would make cook together different dishes from across the country and we'd be sitting on the table and discussing dynamics. I guess that one of the, th the most important stuff that I learned was how to interact with other people. Meaning that when we get to a, a, to a historical place, we are not alone. We have to trust archaeologists, we have to trust historians, we have to trust uh, engineers, architects. So everything is a group work and that's one of the things that I, that, that I learned. It was the first day that I arrived uh, at the SAC Master. Uh, when I met uh, all the other people, uh, they were people that I didn't know. And uh, at the very end, they became one of uh, the closest people that I have actually in my life. So all the times that I visit uh, some cities, I have one friend there, and uh, it's a big community, it's a SAC family, actually. For me, uh, uh, what I believe is that uh, uh, what makes the SAC uh, 
quite uh, uh, unique and competitive as a master program is mostly due to the uh, combination of practical and theoretical experience uh, regarding the structural analysis of historical constructions. It was nice to learn from them also because they were so excited and passionate about the subject that in, you're sitting in the class and you didn't know why you were smiling and you're doing serious analysis but they're so pumped up that it got you excited about it. Former graduates from the Master in Structural Analysis of Monuments and Historical Constructions have earned several grants from the Getty Foundation in the US and won multiple awards with their dissertations. In addition to this, they have been hired by leading international consultancy offices and built heritage specialized firms, as well as selected by leading international universities as PhD students. The University of Minho is proud of its advanced master on structural analysis of monuments and historical constructions, based on excellent international partnership with institutions from the Czech Republic, from Italy and from Catalonia, with a very, very interesting approach between science, technology and research, and with a very good link between engineering and cultural heritage. This is why for us we were very pleased with the nomination for the European Prize on Cultural Heritage and we are indebted to the Europa Nostra. So I'd like to thank my colleague Paul Lorenzo, the coordinator of this project, for this nomination and for all this work in this education project. Mm.